Today we're making the raspberry tie smash that doesn't use this. But it uses fresh fruit and thyme. So wait, you're telling me this isn't artificially colored? Nope. Stay tuned for awesomeness! Welcome to Caught Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Show, and that's Ian Andrews. We're making the raspberry thyme smash. We got raspberry. We got smash. We, I mean, we got thyme. We got thyme. There's raspberries. <laughs> I mean, six. We're running low. Six raspberries, two. So, this recipe, four ounces of four. Hendrix. I don't know why I'm yelling. Maybe because we've done a few episodes and yeah. we've had shambongs. And, um, I don't know if you guys have seen that stuff yet, but it's all good out. stuff, though. Um, four oh, ounces of Hendrix. Easy. That was that was easy. Yeah, I just stapled the shit out of that. <laughs> One ounce of simple syrup. Hand stingling. One ounce of lime juice. Seven fresh raspberries. We're going to. Seven. I like oh, wait, one's to garnish with, right? Oh. Yeah, that's why. So Six berries. Small. We're muddling six berries with the thyme. Two sprigs of thyme. One's going to be for a garnish. Uh, we got plenty of thyme. <laughs> I'm just going to do that over and over, aren't you? This one looks like kudzu. Derek. Yes! Focus. Oh! <laughs> See, she's like crack. Once you start, you can't spot. <laughs> it's something like you crack. You know, I'm guess I think it had been stopped. Philip, just for you. <laughs> he didn't ask for that. I just figured I had to do something unique. And you know what? Is it a five dollar donation or more? It is. Yeah. It is. Oh, so, uh, but I just did that to your face. Yeah. But you actually have like a dance. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Felt great. Uh, a dance? Yeah, a dance. Oh, Derek will dance. I've seen this guy dance. You get so, to dance with him. I, I'm, a, I'm a rock star. Oh, you, dance, dance you, you start the dance. I'll jump in. <laughs> Carlton you need to get more of a swing I'm to it. gonna break a chair. You, you've got like some weird. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Whenever Jalitha gets up and dance, we go hide in the corner. Yes, that's a, that's our new. Well. Yeah. We don't have to be drunk for that either. We just like no. I'm the six four ounces of Hendrix. Yes. Did you read this out already? I can do it again. Oh, no, I just didn't know. You want me to read it to you? Because oh. this was submitted by Ian. Is that how you say Ian? Yeah. Ian uh, Woodburn. One of the. Uh, oh, yeah, somebody in the chat room is drinking your orange drinks. Your Irish orange or. Did I say oh, nice. Lat Match one? Yeah, I, I'm, Irish. A, I'm proud of that drink. I haven't had one in a while, but I'm proud of this. He hasn't had one in a while, but what he's failing to mention is he's had a lot of other stuff. <laughs> we like yeah. we finished off the amaretto for the. There wasn't much vermicelli. left, and I got yelled at for bringing so little. It was, it was, it was, it was a little more than prepare. half a bottle, but we finished <laughs> in like 10 minutes. <laughs> She's yeah, like, oh, that. Everybody's like, I'll be fine. I'm like, I've done this, and there's no way this is fine. Like, there's. You should have brought it, Derek. I know. You she had prepped everything. She, alcohol. she was the one who already. She came up with the drink menu. I didn't know she was either that or the Tiki Tini. I'm like, well, this one sounds pretty good. It's good amaretto. Right? I get a lot of so bottles. You chose it. I did too. That's what you just said. But it was a good drink. <laughs> what are you, a woman? Don't give me hassle. <laughs> I'm gonna smell like alcohol. I'm gonna smell like lime juice. That doesn't. That's better when the that's cup not you at over. all suggestive of what you've been doing. If you smell like citrus, <laughs> what happened? You I'm been sorry, smoking? I got in a lime fight with my friends. Yeah. <laughs> you've been smoking way too much and you're trying to cover it up, or you've been drinking way too much and you're trying to cover it up. Hey, at least when you muddled, you just squirt it all over the table. I know. It's the first time for everything. Yeah. Raspberry time smash. So you did the smashing. I did the smashing. Are we I gonna need stuff. to double strain this? Yes. Feel it. I wrote the double strain. You want to use that one instead? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I sell no, the those. bigger one's probably better. They're but, both the same. But he sells those ones. That looks like that a one looks good one. that looks like a thicker mesh though. So we'll use that one because we'll get less jam up. That one's bigger. They're not the same. Oh, you mean that one? This one's a thicker mesh. Inside there. No, no. That one. Yeah, yeah. That one was thinner. We don't want to use the one with thinner. I have another one. It's gone missing. It's weird how I always seem to lose one of those, but there's always one around. <laughs> like, it's never the same one, but there's always one. What are we doing? Are we making a cocktail? So how are cocktail we gonna... Cocktail made. How are we gonna... Let's garnish this at the end. I'm trying to figure out how to garnish this. Oh, oh cool color. so pretty. Uh-oh. Girls are gonna like this one. Yeah. I'm gonna like this drink. Sail! Sail! Come sail away. Come, Come sail, sail away. away. Come sail away with awesomedrinks.com. <laughs> there. That is a nice neon pink <laughs> 80s looking drink. I like the garnish. <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to. You said something about twirling it around like a garnish pick. 
And like, I really just need to have garnish picks. Oh, these are freaking tasty. Yeah, those raspberries look really. It's a season for raspberries. I don't really you know why. You bought those at the Blues? Yeah, but they're the same ones we sell. I know, but they. It doesn't feel like it is, but these are oh, freaking. These are seasonable. Seasonable. I like to buy them at Mark Vesco's. Oh, they're from California. Yeah. Well, if if you know what it is, if they One get crushed in the corner and then the the juice like right here, yeah. that'll mold up real fast. That's a lot of time, buddy. Yeah. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. It's all about that time. I like the tree you put. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This was a great drink, and then that garnish happened. You put a lot of thought what? <laughs> <laughs> He's giving me shit about garnishes, mister. I'm just gonna eat half this pear and then cut the stem and drop it in the middle of my drink. I loved it. <laughs> Alright. You gotta wear it because it's a Halloween drink. It's all good, yeah. That was not. No, the one we did. Can... The pear one we did. Oh. Sorry. It's a really sexy That drink. tastes like a candle. Oh, a Yankee? Yeah. We yeah, had a couple of Yankee candle drinks. It's interesting. That time really comes through. Because it's in your face as you're drinking? I, I mean, I, I really... <laughs> I get I a lot of time out of this drink. <laughs> it's because it's stuck in your nasal passage and you can't get it out without an operation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that garnet... It's all it, it reminds me of bonsai. And the drink reminds you of... The Pet Channel. Shop Boys. Devo? Eighties bands, like eighties stuff. It's, it's just bright. It reminds me of the eighties. They've been around for a long, it's long like time. Dig low. Dig low. Wasn't Devo been around for a long, low. long time? I don't know. Isn't that a Tenacious D? What? They talked about Devo and Tenacious. That reminds me of drinks that Barbie would have. Barbie. <laughs> It looks like a candle. That was a sale that oh, passed. It, <laughs> Someone just well, reminded me. It was me. a fucking minute ago. Five uh, minutes ago. Okay. 17. Um, 17? This has got some potency. I'm just coming up with it. It does. There's four ounces of, of gin. That's true. Henry's it it should have more potency than it actually does. Um, there is definitely gin flavor to this. It's two alcohol, one syrup, one sour. So the ratios are correct. Yeah. I, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not no, it's necessarily... four alcohol. Sorry, the ratio is alcohol to me. It's four alcohol. Yeah, it's it is a little bit strong. Um, it's it's kind of a it's it's an oxymoron in a way. Like pink drinks typically aren't ones that are really strong. This mm. is really strong and it's pink. Really pink. And the pink that is, is that... breast cancer awareness pink. The raspberries. It's all raspberry. Mm. Like that's yeah. the only thing that gets. That's a nice shade of very, very sexy shade of pink for a, just pure sexy raspberry. Pink. Oh my god. No Vagina. No. <laughs> Go ahead. This is yeah, what it reminds her of. Uh. No, you know that kinky stuff that we got before? Like oh, that yeah. Kinky liqueur? Alcohol. Yeah. I thought you were going back to the vagina. I'm like, I thought we just discussed this and you no. said no. Kinky With liqueur? Alcohol, no. Yeah. Kinky's, kinky's a little lighter, I think. Or, yeah. No. No, but oh, that, it just reminds me. We have some like around that. here. So, yeah. I don't really uh, Mine is kind of yeah. tainted the color. It, it, gets, it gets a little weird oh, after all. Over there, I guess. Well, um, what was that one that we got before, though? X rated? It's X-rated, kinky Alize. Um, my Alize. No, it's not that. I mean, I guess see how that's like a lighter. Like it, yeah, that's that's more like vagina it. than than this. But no, do you remember that thing that we oh, got? There's not much time? left of X-rated. This is this Where? is an X-rated bottle. That's that's definitely oh, a different. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. That's what it looks like. Um, nobody wants to see your pan <laughs> erection. <sighs> I broke the fourth wall. Sorry. You broke the fifth wall that time. Yeah. I'm gonna break the sixth wall in a second. <laughs> This is on my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's it tastes less like a Yankee candle as you drink it. Yeah. I don't time drinks are definitely unique and different. They're always they always tend to fall in that because time isn't time. something I often see in a cocktail. But well, it's got a really unique flavor, time. Crafty cocktails do tend to utilize, sometimes overutilize time. <laughs> He's like, I don't know where that goes. I don't know where that goes. Uh, I I can I gotta tell you though, I like the color more than I like the flavor. Like, Agreed. It's yeah. very herbal and gin forward. Um, I think the ratios could be tuned on this. Yeah, like um, two ounces less of gin. Yes. But then I'm wondering, is it going to be a little bit more of that Yankee Candle? But you know what you do? You put it in a martini glass, you make it a four ounce drink, 
It is a big drink for it what is we're a big asking. Drink. And then you put like a small floater of thyme and a raspberry in there. The raspberry sinks like a maraschino cherry and the thyme kind of floats up like a piece of seaweed. Boom. Yeah. Call it the Red Sea it, cocktail. It sounds pretty sexy the way you say it. Well, um, you know, a lot I of things I say sound sexy. <laughs> Penis. I've got that effect on words. Um, I've got that effect. Dill <laughs> We could use dill in here instead. Um, it tickles your face. It does. Um, it gets all up in your nose. Yeah. Like, I, like I, would, I would agree. <laughs> That's why you, you turn the garnish out and then you drink. That's what I did. It's still, you got a hat on, so it helps. Yeah. Um, we'll see what the girls think. I don't think they're going to like it. How's chicken? It's delicious. Chicken, <laughs> chicken pairs well with this drink. We'll see. Um, I, I, it's it's a creative use. I don't know if it's my style, but I'm sure there are people who like Gin Ford drinks that have fresh fruit in them, and it's got the smash quality to it. I it's definitely all fresh. think this is something that certain people are going to love. It's just not me. Mm. Um, just a little bit tiny. Mm. I just don't think I have the time for this. Anyway, question yeah. A? Oh, you have plenty of time, buddy. Um, if you're a ghost, where would you haunt? Uh, Come on. Uh, Hannaford? <laughs> what would be fun to haunt? <laughs> he would haunt uh, Harrison's Cox. <laughs> I'd haunt my kids. I'd haunt magic tournaments. <laughs> uh, he'd haunt, haunt your kids. kids. I'd haunt my kids. I'd haunt my kids. That sounds like a fun time. <laughs> they could make some money off Where would you haunt? That's a good question. Work. You heard haunt work? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, would, she, would, it, she would fuck that place up with her haunting. Yep. Um, I would want to haunt somebody that I could, like... You know, I don't want to, you know what I would want to hunt? I would want to hunt in the woods. I don't even care where. Like, maybe our backyard. It, or you'd be like one of those cool, like, these like are haunted to, woods. Yeah, you'd have to go outside. Like, the people ghost go, of Derek oh, is here. if you go to this house, it's haunted. It's cooler to say, no, you go in this area, and it could be, I could be there at any time. Dylan would haunt a 7-Eleven. <laughs> Dude. Scratchy? Scratchy? I'd probably haunt a bar. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool, too. Don't, yeah, don't drink even, that drink, it's terrible. But how would they know? Like, the problem is everybody already That's is way off up. balance. <laughs> They're too drunk to even care. Yeah, yeah. they wouldn't even notice. But it'd be fun. Your mm -hmm. haunting would be so futile. Wasted. <laughs> Haunt a movie theater so I could see all the new, new releases. <laughs> Haunt a porn theater. <laughs> so I could see oh, no, all the, the nudes. All the releases? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yachty! <laughs> I'm just rolling dice, I don't know yeah. what you're talking David about. David would haunt Bourbon Street. Oh. That would be a fun place. Again! Now. Waste of time. Everybody there's already fucking haunted. <laughs> you wouldn't even know. <laughs> they don't have souls. Wait, don't right. they have... Well, there were ghost tours down there, so... They must have haunted places. Yeah, but you don't yeah, want to... I wouldn't want to haunt an haunt estate. estate uh, haunted. Monteleone, yeah. Monteleone's haunted? Yeah. I didn't so feel like I got haunted. That's why Julie had a big old cockroach in her room. Yeah. No, that was just a cockroach. <laughs> scared the cockroaches. Who's <laughs> 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 just visiting from beyond the grave. He possessed the cockroaches to come say no, hi. No, the ghost scared the cockroach. Oh, okay. I thought the ghost possessed the cockroach so he could come say hi. Maybe. That would be a very interesting possession. Um, anyway, pa patreon.com slash cmc if you want to donate to the show and become one of our executive producers. Damn it, I did it again. Go to awesomebreaks.com if you want to get your uh, your bar equipment like your Collins glasses or your uh, chef and squeezers or whatnot. I'm going to go, let's, you know what, we got a new subscriber we'll start with. Plus, I just, when people have funny names, got to go with that. All right. So this e this episode's executive producer is uh, Cargillian Third. Wow. And he'll be at the beginning. I don't know how I'm going to fit my... I didn't do this, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Is thank you, Cargillian the III. Cargillian? Yeah. No. I okay. See. I don't... You have to Google it. could be. It. Google could be it like and that. find out if that's him. Either that or you find his Facebook page. He's from a new uh, a new family in Game of Thrones. He's going to come over from Essos. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I can see it. We good? Yeah. Yeah. What teach you how to drink? The Caribbean Punch, invented around 1937 by Don the Beachcomber. Oh. No! Ice! Put it down! Um, about. You can find that in Don, uh, yeah, Don, Jeff Beach's Beach Jeff Barry.